Hi guys, it's T-Bone Pearson here, and uh, I bought Final Cut Pro for my MacBook Pro. Uh, Final, so Final Cut X, I mean, yeah, tenth version. Um, and I am editing a real estate video here, uh, shot on Bob's Lake, and I'm really enjoying using the editing software. I'm so used to Adobe Premiere, it's refreshing. <laughs> To uh, once again, I had to learn a few things first. Just to, it was very frustrating at first. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Uh, but yeah, I like it. Um, some of the things I wanted to talk about is the magnetic timeline. So these little pieces, they they snap. See that? See that over there? Yeah, they snap to each other, um, which is neat. Uh, at first, I didn't like it, but now I do. And you can turn that off by going up to here and clicking position. Uh, or hitting the P key, and it'll switch. So then you could actually grab pieces and move them. Um, now, it'll make gaps where they are, these little gap things, uh, which is interesting. I'm getting used to it. Um, but it just feels fresh and fun, and um, it's working great on the MacBook. And if I even tried to hook up an HDMI cable up to a big screen and edit, I did that yesterday, and uh, yeah, it was great. Uh, so let's Command Z, let's... <laughs> Um, but I'm still trying to learn, you know, learn how to do things in here. Um, there's a, some differences are, let's see, we go here and we go up here and click this film strip and then that's where you have your options here. And if it had sound, there'd be audio options up here, uh, but it doesn't. This was shot for my drone. Um, it's very beautiful and uh, I'll show you some shots there. Uh, all right, let's watch this. Oh. <laughs> It's cool. I love flying my drone over water and the shoreline. There's no better way to show a potential customer what they're buying um, and you know what the lake's like uh, than with my drone. So I do a lot of that. Here it is zooming in. Let's see, what else do I like about it? Uh, oh, one thing. This is a little confusing for me over here on the left. There's these things called libraries and projects and what else there's one more thing and I couldn't so all my latest stuff that I've been working on in Final Cut X are over here um, and what you want to look for is these projects and I was confused because this project here um, okay here we go here um, I couldn't find this untitled project it was hidden in the projects folder of Maberly but the projects actually should have been in Bob's Lake, so I screwed up, and I couldn't find it this morning. I was freaking out. Oh, one more thing that really that sort of freaked me out is you don't save like you do in Adobe Premiere. I'm always saving, so because I've had uh, corrupted, uh, my computer will crash and I'll lose stuff. Um, so I save things like let's say I was doing Bob's Lake in Adobe Premiere. I would say Bob's Lake, and then. The, Maybe 15 minutes later, I would maybe save as Bob's Lake 2. Um, so if Bob's Lake ever got corrupted, um, you know, you can always go back to another version of it. So I've learned in the past to do that. And with Final Cut Pro, um, the, it saves by itself, and I'm a little leery about that, but um, hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> uh, so, all right, so what was I t talking about? I forget what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, so yeah, these, these you know, I just have to figure out this file structure and I'll probably feel better. Oh, but this, let's see. Oh, this is a nice, this is the inside of the cottage here, I believe. Um, but let's go back to this one. So I'm going to double click that. And so this is uh, my dad, actually, he's a realtor and I do all his videos. I do the drone work and I've got a steady cam. I walk through houses and I do all the photos and stuff like that. Um, so I shot him in front of a green screen and it was just so easy to do. Um, so it's sort of like Adobe Premiere has tracks. Um, this is a little different. It sort of still is like tracks, but so where is, so there he is here. You can see the, it's a, the green screen there. And it was so easy. I just dropped the keyer on there and it automatically keyed him out perfectly. Where with Premiere, you got to play a lot. Um, so let's see, this is color board. So I think I color corrected. Uh, here's just the color. And then there's the saturation and the exposure. Uh, I think I, I made his skin a little more red, give more of a tan by grabbing the mid-tones of saturation and boosting that up a bit. Actually, I'll show you how it does. Let's, let's drain the color from his face. <laughs> All right, and then back. Uh, so that's just the mid-tones. 
Um, let's see, what else do I got going on here? But anyways, that, maybe that's all I've, I'll talk about today. Uh, just a little overview of what I've been doing. Uh, really enjoying it. Do you guys use uh, Final Cut Pro to edit with? Uh, let me know some tips or if you like it. What do you prefer? Do you prefer Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro? Let me know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Cheers!